Hello and welcome to another video tutorial on understanding body language, liars, cheats and happy feet. I uh, hope you're okay. Um, I'm going to have to keep my voice down because my missus is fast asleep. Uh, so I better not wake her up otherwise um, I'll be hell to pay. And this will be the last video on analysis I'll do uh, for a while. Uh, but anyway, so what I've got for you today is the uh, Michael Jackson. Um, this is an announcement he made in London uh, in 2009. I believe it was, uh, but there's a lot of myths circulating around the internet saying that um, that isn't Michael Jackson. Um, so what I'm going to do today is run through the body language of Michael and see if it's um, it is actually him or perhaps it's an imposter. So uh, let's just have a look, see what I think. The King of Pop, Mr. Michael Jackson. So here he comes. Now bearing in mind, I've done a quite a few Michael Jackson videos, so I've got a good understanding of what movements and gestures he makes. Um, so let's see what I can I can spot here with his initial walk. Now Michael Jackson has got a, a very distinguished swagger when he walks. Um, he uses his hips a lot, he also uses his shoulders, almost like a, a marching position. And what I can see here... He almost reminds me of um, someone in the Oasis called Noel Gallagher. I don't know if you're familiar with the Oasis, um, but they're like a bit of a, a rock band, indie band here in Great Britain. They're split up now. But Noel Gallagher had the very same walk that Michael Jackson does. It's very like a very an arrogant, a, a very um, a very confident pose which he walk in through, which is good. Uh, if you see the open palm gestures Michael Jackson uh, makes there when he walks past that golf buggy, uh, he's almost indicating, shall I use this? Watch his non-verbals. Palms come open. There you go. Should I use this? No. So he's going to come in now and he's going to address the fans. So here he comes now, yeah, uh, to uh, thousands of fans in London. Okay, so a lot of people don't think this is Michael Jackson. So let's have a look. So facially, a bit of a pacifying gesture there. Facially and physically, it does look like Michael Jackson. Obviously, he's denied having any kind of plastic surgery, but there's no doubt that his face has changed over the years. So let's keep an eye on his non-verbals. So I think he's just asked which microphone it is and which fit it's up. Okay, so eyes down, smile. Good. So the finger gesture with the arms up in the air. So he's making a peace symbol, which is called a gestural emblem. Um, so a gestural emblem is basically um, a signal or a sign we, got, we give off using the hands or sometimes with the face. That doesn't need any words to go alongside it because we're all um, fluent uh, in understanding the meaning behind it. Bearing in mind, emblems are not all universal. Some are all different, it depends which culture you're in, uh, and it depends which country you're in as well. So I've put the, the gesture he's making there is the peace symbol. So that's pretty much universal. Which is mirrored by the by his fans. I love you so much. Um. Thank you all. Now, he's already just said just a few small words there, but I can already tell that's Michael's voice uh, because of his intonation and his paralinguistics. I've heard Michael speak for a long, long time, and you get to know his vocal range and his vocal style, and I can say that that is Michael Jackson. I don't need to even read, read his body language. I can automatically assume and tell you that's his voice, which is good. Well, something's going to happen shortly. So he's whipping the crowd up into a frenzy here, which is good. Look at the, the thousands of people uh, anticipating Michael's uh, big announcement. But I, I, I just want to say that um, these... So he's making another gesture lamb there, number five. This will be my final show performances in London. Okay, let me just scoot back. Makes a pacifying gesture with the head. Uh, right, how I can tell this is Michael Jackson is by this gesture here he makes with his left hand. These will be my final show There you go. Performances. If we can see here, the pinching of the finger ends, so it's the thumb um, and the forefinger and the index finger, 
um, pressing the hands together. Now then, if I just scoot off this interview and I click on back to the one I've just done with Lisa Marie Presley, all the way back from 1998, I think this was, or around there, if I click play. Oh, showing hallmarks, I want to see open palm awesome. gestures, specific gestures, like that, specific there you gestures. Go. So watch it again, so watch for some specific gestures he makes with his left hand. There you go. So he's making the same gestures all those years ago, and he's making them now as well, which is fantastic. So we can automatically assume, because we have repeated chains of movement that we always do, no matter how old we are, uh, and no matter what situation we're in, we will revert back to our baselines. And Michael Jackson um, uses this particular um, hand gesture to great effect to make things look specific and relative, and it's that gesture. I'll just say I don't use it personally, but it's part of Michael's repertoire. And he uses that one. So he, he favours that particular gesture. Um, now I know what you're saying. And all the doubters out there saying it would be very easy um, to just use this illustrator all the time. But it's my, I think it's very specific to Michael Jackson. So And plus he uses it at the right time as well. This will be it. This is it. And when I say this is it, it more really specific, means this is it. More specific gestures. Because, um... <laughs> so he's almost like he's embarrassed. And that's why he drops his head and makes a gestural retreat. Now he drops his head, almost lowers it below the um, the stage bit here where the microphone is, so the microphone stand, and makes a gestural retreat. So we can't see his eyes because they're covered, but that does look like embarrassment to me. I got that. There you go. Dogs do the same thing. It's like a retreat. It's not almost like an embarrassing gesture. But it's good. Michael's having fun. Okay, so I think we can all, I think we can all fully understand what that means there by his placing his hand across his chest and his heart. He's deeply touched on it by the response he's getting, and he makes a very, that's it. The palms open. I'm nothing to hide. Almost a very religious gesture, um, like Jesus presiding over his people, which is a great gesture. Looks good. Very good. Performing the songs my fans want to hear. Bit of a shoulder shrug there from Michael. I think this is pretty much unrehearsed. I think this is. You think he's had difficulty with this interview because Michael's quite. Uh, he's very linguistic and he's very loquacious. We so talks a lot, Michael. But in this interview, he's very. Uh, it's almost like he's tongue-tied. Really, he's not quite sure what to say. I think it's because it's. Um, um, he's not been around uh, such an audience for such a long time that obviously like, tens of thousands of people have come out to see him. And I think he's a bit tongue-tied, really. I'll be performing the songs so got my fans a bit of a shoulder hear. shrug there. I wouldn't worry about that. There's nothing to read there. This is it. I mean, this is really it. This is the final... This is the final curtain call. So his hand gestures. Resemble that. Okay. That means stop. And, um, Another gesture level. This is it. This is it. So he's placing his hands there. He's saying she's good. I'll see you in July. So the crowd are going wild. Some good body language there. Look at that anticipation. Look at that guy making the arm barrier there. It might be cold, but I'm pretty sure that this pacifying gesture there he's making, as you can see, his facial expression is his pure excitement. I love you. There you go. I really do. You have to know that I love you so much. Really. From the bottom of my heart. This is it, and see you in July. Brilliant. Palms up, arms up, and he's away. Fantastic. So there we go. I don't think Michael does much else there. Yep, so i got to thank the, uh, the guys for this video. So let's just scoot forwards and scoot back. I'll scoot back a bit. So let's look at those specific gestures he makes. Again, with his hands, so he puts his palm up, and I'm pretty sure it's this one here where he makes a specific this gesture. will be my... Final show. There you go. So there you go. So I'll, I'll end the, the tutorial there. So so to all the doubters out there, I can say categorically that this person here is definitely Michael Jackson. 
You can tell by his intonation with his speech and his paralinguistics. Um, obviously, Michael's aged over the, throughout the years, which we all do. Um, most of the videos I've done on Michael Jackson are from like the 1990s. Um, obviously, his uh, physical appearance has changed, but one thing hasn't changed is his use of illustrators uh, by making his repeated chains of movement, which are repeated uh, movements. He still gives gives off no matter how old, um, no matter how old he gets. Um, obviously he doesn't look as comfortable and as confident as he used to do when he was doing interviews, but he's been out of the spotlight for so long now, the potent, but he might not be used to the, um, the fans reaction, um, anymore, but uh, I've got to say this video still gives me goosebumps, I remember seeing this for the first time live on Sky TV here in Great Britain, and, uh, I, I just couldn't believe it, <coughs> it was fantastic, and I tried to get tickets, but I couldn't because it was a massive sellout. Uh, so there we go. So that's Michael Jackson covered. If you'd like to learn more about body language or if you'd like to check out my videos, um, just have a look at the other videos I've done on YouTube. I've got a website on Facebook called Understanding Body Language Liars, Cheats and Happy Feet. If you'd like to join that, uh, click the link and I'll speak to you all soon. So take care and bye bye for now.